Water safety plan, risk assessment, an important task for water suppliers. Drinking water must be pure in terms of taste, odor, and appearance. It must not contain any pathogens or substances harmful to health. The risk assessment recognizes and weights possible hazards and hazardous events that may occur in the water supply. A risk as defined by the water safety plan concept is the potential damage caused to consumer health of the sensory quality of drinking water or the technical security of supply. For example, due to the intrusion of animals into elevated tanks, an increased iron concentration in drinking water, or malfunction of equipment due to corrosion. During the risk assessment, the Water Safety Plan team identifies for each combination of hazards and hazardous events, the likelihood of occurrence and the severity of damage. The combination of these two quantities provides the risk. For this, the Water Safety Plan team uses a risk matrix. A frequent likelihood of occurrence combined with a high severity of damage results in a high risk. A rare likelihood of occurrence in combination with a low severity of damage results in a low risk. For example, the regular application of liquid manure as fertilizer and leakage of such manure after heavy rains has a frequent likelihood of occurrence. The health of the population can be directly affected by pathogen intrusion, and therefore this has a potentially high severity of damage. Accordingly, there is a high risk to our drinking water here that needs to be addressed in a timely manner. The most important criterion for the severity of damage of a hazard is the expected impact on the health of consumers. The following factors should be considered. How much has the drinking water quality changed? How long did the drinking water not meet the necessary quality requirements? And how many people used the drinking water during this period? To evaluate the likelihood of a hazardous event occurring, the Water Safety Plan team estimates how often the event occurs or how likely it is to occur. Once all risks have been estimated, appropriate actions must be determined. These can be taken once, such as the rehabilitation of a defective wellhead, or the removal of dangerous goods from a warehouse in the catchment area. Or they can be continuous, such as filtration or UV disinfection of drinking water in treatment plants. Through risk assessment, the Water Safety Plan team is able to compare and prioritize hazards and hazardous events and to recommend reasonable improvements and necessary investments. For more information on the Water Safety Plan Risk Assessment, please visit these websites.